Welcome to my video series of Mallbio explained in 3 minutes where I explain a concept of Mallbio in less than 3 minutes or so. It is not a detailed explanation but it has all the necessary information to save your ass before the day of your exam. Now if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And in this installment, we'll talk about how end labeling of the DNA is achieved. Sometimes we really need radio labeled DNA to perform in situ hybridization or southern blotting. So southern blotting or in situ hybridization in order to detect the uh, our nucleotide, nu nucleic acid of interest we need a radio labeled or some labeled probe and in order to label that uh, either radiologically or by any other non radio uh, labeled probe we can use this technique that I'm going to describe in this video. So here is our DNA region of interest which we are going to detect. So we can generate the probe from this region of the DNA itself, right? And first what we use is alkaline phosphatase. Alkaline phosphatase would cleave off the terminal 5' prime phosphate group and make a hydroxyl group instead. Now this hydroxyl group can be used to attach several other nucleotides at the end. So that is done by polynucleotide kinase. Now polynucleotide kinase can attach new nucleotides at the end and in the 5' prime end we can use a radio labeled nucleotide to label that. Most of the cases the radio label which is incorporated in the 5' prime end is no is a gamma 32 ATP or something like that or sometimes sulfur is also used as a radio label. So this however it is the gamma phosphate is incorporated into the label and thereby a terminal end of the DNA gets radiologically labeled. Now that is how we achieve uh, radio labeling of a DNA segment. Now there are other variants of this technique which uh, labels the DNA at 3 prime end. It is called 3 prime end labeling which we would be talking about in other videos and also there is sparse labeling method using NIC translation which we would talk in other videos as well. So if you like this video and it is helpful give it a quick thumbs up and don't forget to like share and subscribe. Thank you.